Hello everyone, welcome on back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be unboxing some things I got in the mail from Six Cents. And at the end of the video, I'll also be announcing the winner for the 550 plus subscriber giveaway. So thank you so much for all of you who participated in that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open the box. We've got some uh, clearance items that they had on sale and a couple of... Uh, exclusive soft plastic sacks that they had put together with some exclusive colors and things that can't be found on the website. So excited to get in here and show this stuff to you guys. Alright. First up, let me kind of set this to the side here. We've got the Curve 55 medium diving crankbait. This is in the black craw color, three-eighths of an ounce, dives five to nine foot. Nice dark crankbait for when you need a really good silhouette, darker water, things of that nature. I believe I'd had one of these before, but I did get it hung up and lost it. And I saw they had them on clearance. I think it was maybe between 3 and $4. So I went ahead and picked one up. I like that nice iridescent eye on that as well. Next up, the Swank 77X. This is in the pumpkin seed sunfish color. Didn't have one of these in this color. This is an excellent crankbait when you're around grass. It is 77 millimeters long and is three quarters of an ounce. It does have that L-shaped bill, which helps it cut through grass a lot easier than a lot of other regular crankbaits. Helps keep that grass off of those treble hooks. Of course, it's that nice orange yellow with those blue spots, pumpkin seed color. Really heavy, one knock plus the high pitch BBs. Really loud rattle system on these crankbaits. Also got one of the Crush 55X square bills in the pumpkin seed sunfish color. This is a 60 millimeter, dives two to five foot, three eighths of an ounce. One of my favorite square bills to throw. I didn't have one yet in this color, so went ahead and picked that up. The creek that I fish does have some pumpkin seed sunfish in it, so this would be a good imitator for those. All right, next up we've got a Snatch 70X slipless crankbait. Five eighths of an ounce. This is the American Shad color. Real flashy uh, chrome type color. It's real tough. Pull out there. I like the kind of oversized treble hooks on there. It's got that nice green back into kind of more of a yellow and silver side with some flash. up we've got some soft plastics here I picked up some of the juggle minnows as you know quickly becoming one of my favorite chatterbait trailers spinnerbait trailers underspins this is in the morning dawn color so that nice pink and purple this would be excellent to throw particularly around the smallmouth Also picked up some of the Krub 3.0s. This is in the Magic Crawl color. It's got that blue and green with a little bit of red flake. See, 
also picked up, they were selling out fast, but I managed to get a hold of some of the new Panorama 5.0s. This is the live sunfish color, so it should be a good bluegill imitator. Lots of nice orange and purple blue flake in there. think there's a couple things in here okay so we'll get into this sack in a minute I think this is the exclusive uh, colors soft plastic sack that I picked up I've got a few more uh, soft plastics here this is the glitch 3.8 drop shot bait this is a 10 pack this is the Plum Dawn color, so it's a little bit of a kind of darker uh, morning dawn plum variation. Uh, this should do very well on a drop shot. Nice plum red, lots of blue and green sparkle in there. Excellent drop shot bait. I gotta say, I kind of like some of this more smaller, compact style um, packaging that they've gone with recently on these soft plastics. Uh, makes it real easy to fit a bunch of these in a little um, bait zipper bag or in a backpack, you know, for doing uh, the bank angling thing, uh, which, you know, most of the time I am fishing from the bank, especially going out on the creek, if you want to fit a lot into a small bag and not have to carry a whole lot of weight or have a bunch of excess space, um, I think these work out well. I also picked up some of these lockdown hooks in a 6 aught size. This is a 5 pack. You've got a screw lock up at the top, and that's kind of like your standard worm hook from there. I did pick up those to be able to use with that larger 6.5 panorama. Got in last month's six sack. All right, let's go ahead and crack into this bag here. This is supposed to have a whole bunch of exclusive soft plastic colors, things you can't even find on the website, things they may not have even put in the sack before. So I'm excited to see what they put in here. I have no idea what plastics or what colors we're going to have. I'm just going to pull them out one by one. This is the Prawn 4.2. And just says exclusive color. It looks like it's got a green pumpkin. It's sort of like a blue and red flake. There's no color name, so... Some of these have a little bit more flake than others, but see the one side, pumpkin, whole bunch of blue and red flake on the other side. I guess that's what I would probably call that color, green pumpkin, red and blue flake. If you guys can think of another name for that, let me know down in the comments below. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that one. Set those aside. What we got next? Uh, we've got another prawn 4.2 in an exclusive color. This kind of looks similar to those uh, crubes I got. That magic crawl color, so it doesn't have the red flake, it's got a blue flake. Kind of like a blue crawl, Okeechobee crawl combo. Actually, these seem mixed. Like, it looks like we've got a couple different colors in here. We've got this, this real sapphire blue with the blue flake. A tiny bit of green pumpkin in there. Almost like some of the plastic got shot a little differently. And then we've got these blue swirl greens. For the most part, there's two of these other blue ones. And then like six of these because it's an eight pack. 
So I'm wondering if they just shot these kind of incorrect or if it was something they were experimenting with. No clue because it doesn't really give me much information, but kind of cool getting kind of a mix of colors there in that pack. got a bongo 3.7 here and an exclusive color kind of looks like a, uh, maybe a California 420 like a watermelon green pumpkin red flake kind of color real heavy on that flake like a red orange and a real deep watermelon green a few soft plastics in here. I still got several to go. Uh, we've got another Bongo exclusive color here. It's kind of more of a green pumpkin, maybe a dark watermelon with like a multicolor flake. Looks like it's got some blue and some green flake. in there some of these have a little bit more of like a red and green flake you know i thought the exclusive colors would definitely be something interesting to try i'm always trying to do something a little bit different kind of mix it up and see you know if that can help get another bite Got another juggle minnow in here. This is in a kind of a pearl white color with a little bit of blue flake. A little bit of gold flake in there as well. Put that on the back of a white chatterbait. That's going to be money. more in here got another juggle minnow 4.0 seems like a kind of a green pumpkin multicolor flake there some red and green maybe a couple little bits of gold flake in there as well we've got a flush 5.2 in this chartreuse flake color Looks like it's uh, mostly black flake with maybe a little bit of silver and red. This should do well in some more stained water. You can also see the smallmouth going crazy for that as well. That chartreuse. more in here it looks like we've got some of the I'm running out of room on the desk here got some more stroker crawl 2.4s in an exclusive color looks kind of like a watermelon red flake california crawl type color these are really good for the smallies as well i like to use these on a little finesse jig you can even ned rig these as well a little 2.4 inch crawl Looks like we also got a hog walla 5.8 in a very similar color kind of a watermelon red flake california craw type color all right that is the end of that sack i also picked up last thing in the bag here uh, one of their new Bait kits. I think this was uh, the drop shot kit potentially. Uh, so it comes on this nice zippered bait bag. 
It's got a nice embossed rubber uh, nameplate there. You can write on what's in there if you like. So I'm gonna pull a couple things out. Looks like we got a face shield. Might have been maybe just like a finesse pack. I can't remember what pack this was. I can't remember which one was which. I think the one that I looked at before was actually the garage sale sack of soft plastics. And then I have an exclusive soft plastic bundle um, as well. So one is one, one is the other. I can't remember which one is which because they've got so many exclusive colors in this one as well. Um, but I guess we'll start with some of the terminal tackle. Uh, including the face shield. They also threw in some of the 3 aught ox slipping hooks. Uh, some number one drop shot hooks. Some 4 aught stout wide gap hooks. Uh, something I've been wanting to try. This is their Divine Ned Rig football head. 3 sixteenths of an ounce. It's a four pack. It's got a one aught hook. Got a nice little wire keeper, so it'll be weedless. It'll be a nice little football head for fishing on the bottom and some rock. I've also got some more divine shaky heads and quarter ounce black. Got another exclusive glitch color here, kind of a very transparent light watermelon uh, with some green and blue flake. Be an excellent clear water color. A little bit of yellow flake in there as well. It's got a very Mountain Dew look to it. got some more stroker crawl 2.4s kind of similar to those other ones a little bit less flake than the ones we got in that last pack uh, we've got some crubes also in kind of that watermelon 420 red flake color uh, looks like we've got some stroker crawls Sort of a green pumpkin, blue flake. Yeah, a tiny bit of red flake in there too, but it's mostly a green pumpkin, blue flake look. We've got some more exclusive bongos, green pumpkin. Blue Flake. We've got a Flush 5.2. And sort of a Bluegill Sunfish type imitation. What it looks like to me. It's got sort of a black and blue flake kind of back. With a watermelon with green and orange flake on the belly. So definitely a very good bluegill sunfish imitation. And last but not least, we got another Juggle Minnow exclusive color. Kind of similar to that flush I just showed. Uh, a little bit lighter more of a gray and gold with some purple and orange and black flake. Interesting color there. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think about these colors down in the comments below. Um, each of these ran Garage sale sack was $44.99 and the soft plastic exclusive bundle was $28.99. Again, I'm not sure which is which, but for you know a full pack of exclusive colors, and yours may vary if you you know decide to order these. Uh, you may have some of the same colors, completely different colors. 
But let me know what you guys think your favorites were down below. I'd love to hear your feedback on that. Now let's go ahead and get into the giveaway. And copy the URL into the random comment picker. Went ahead and selected to add comment replies. Do our little math problem here. We're gonna go and get YouTube comments. And then when I hit the start button, it'll start the raffle and pick the winner. So I'm gonna count it to three. One, two, three. Randomizing still. Looks like it was John Gunner Outdoors. John, thank you so much for your support, buddy. I really appreciate it. Hit me up at HughesYourHookSetter at gmail.com. Shoot me an email. Get me your address. And I'll get these six cents hard baits right here that I mentioned in that last video that I was giving away out to you as soon as I can. If you didn't win this time, we'll be doing another giveaway when I hit 600 subscribers. We're only 40 away, so continue to share out the videos. Let's see if we can get a few more people into the community to reach that 600 mark. Again, guys, I really appreciate all the support, and I'll see you on the next one.